Now, what gets your creative sparks going? Some people need a huge cup of Americano as soon as they wake up. Others need to read an inspiring quote or book excerpt. I'll guarantee you that these pictures will give you enough creative fuel to power your entire year. Who knows, maybe they inspire your next movie or book. So imagine this. It's your first day of school in 7th grade. You're pumped and ready to begin a new school year. Your mother asks to take a picture of you to remember that day. You can't think of a reason why not, so you gladly pose for it. You stand by a lovely tree, smile a big smile, and say, cheese! But as soon as she takes the picture, she grabs you by the arm and runs with you to the other side of the street. What on earth just happened, you ask? Well, let's take a look at the picture. Do you see anything out of the ordinary happening here? How about that humongous snake sliding down the bar? This is a very true story, and fortunately, the people involved got away safely. How did they miss it, though? That escaped me completely. The internet is filled with bizarre photos that make you think they're a montage. Like this one. This looks like mosquitoes are not only ready for global domination, but they're already doing it. It makes your brain visit all sorts of sci-fi movies to try and find the antidote to giant mosquitoes. How on earth would we protect ourselves from something like this? But worry not, there's a big chance this picture isn't real. One user says that this photo is just a coincidence. A mosquito happened by when the photographer was taking the picture. Other users say that's not how cameras work. The image would be completely blurry if the camera had focused on the mosquito. So, what's your take on this? Have you ever watched nature documentaries or marveled at a National Geographic picture book and wondered, how did a human get so close to a wild animal and live to tell the tale? Well, this is the case with these polar bear pictures. Let's get one thing straight. Polar bears might be cute, but they are dangerous meat-eating animals. They're strong, they're apex predators in their natural habitats, and I'm guessing they're not so fond of human presence. But how could these people manage to get close enough to them? I'll bet this is AI-generated. The internet world loves horror stories. And maybe that's why ghost pictures rank so high up in people's interests. Are they real? Are they not? Does it even matter? This person claims to be seeing a little girl in a nightgown at the end of the corridor in their grandparents' house. Apparently, ghosts really do like grandparents' houses. I guess they just can't resist the weekly bingo nights and the constant smell of freshly baked chocolate chip cookies. I know I can't. Either way, this image looks so faint that I'd say it's probably just the silhouette of a bunch of vintage furniture put together. (laughs) Oh wow, I'm sorry. It took me a while to understand what was happening there. In the first picture, I thought there was a deformed thumb next to the muffin. Only then did my eyes understand that we were looking at a glass table and a hungry cat trying to get a piece of the delicious treat. Welcome to Silent Hill. This photo was taken by someone on their way to work. And I have so many questions. Do they live in a rural area? Or was this photo the result of a morning jog in an urban park? Was he breathing okay? Because this smog looks like something out of this world. Yow! This next picture will either give you goosebumps or make you marvel at its weirdness. I'd expect nothing less than to find a real-life witch house in the middle of this forest. What's your guess? Is it real or photoshopped? You bet it's real. This forest is located next to the small town of Grafina in Poland, and it's naturally filled with trees that bend 90 degrees right at the bottom. Scientists still can't explain why the trees are the way they are. Who knows? Maybe it was a witch that made them that way. If you watched The Last of Us, I think you'd be pretty spooked by this photo. This is not only real, but it's a fungus that imitates a person's hand trying to crawl out of the ground. I mean, does art imitate life, or is it really just one giant messy blob? Hmm, where do I even start with this one? I'd say this piece was actually a prop from a Tim Burton movie that somehow got lost and ended up in your vegetable basket. 
It's supposed to be a yam, but it's shaped like Grinch's hand if he were white instead of green. Oh my, in my wildest dreams, I couldn't make this stuff up. If I stumbled upon this picture on the internet, I'd say it's from an animated movie or that it was AI-generated. This photo has gotten into people's minds so profoundly that National Geographic hunted down the credited photographer to prove if this was real or not. And guess what? It is real. And it's in Namibia. If this was a background to a story, what kind of story would you say it was? I'm in between a fairy tale and a forest version of Finding Nemo. Earthquakes are no joke. But it kind of looks like it might have a sense of humor. I mean, how could it be that the ground cracked exactly in the middle of the road, splitting it perfectly in half? This just sounds too science fiction-y for me. You know how they say that nothing in life happens by chance? I have to say this picture makes me profoundly wonder whether this was a natural result of rusting or if someone spent endless hours carving the world map into a random street pole. This is what I like to call minimum effort, maximum effect. Maybe this is the work of a child that didn't understand the assignment. Or maybe it's just a lazy adult with a childlike mentality. I have to say, they nailed the horse's silhouette, and for that, they deserve a well done. Now picture this. You went out on your morning jog. It's a cold winter day, and the sun hasn't come out just yet. You decided to run an extra mile further than you normally do and run into the guardian of the forest. You're so convinced that the thing is real that you make a sprint for it as fast as your shaky legs can take it. In the end, it was just a Groot-like tree. Somewhere, there's a law that says we can't have only good days. There are the days you get home, and you're going to open the door, and this comes to greet you. It's a fine line between a life-threatening situation and just a really big scare. Now, when I was a kid, I loved playing pranks on people. But I would be the first one to get completely spooked when someone played a prank on me. I'm guessing the person who ran into this thing on their office wall wasn't too pleasant. But hey, maybe it's karma, right? What goes around comes straight back around. This is the type of table setting you would see if you got invited to the Adams house for afternoon tea. Creepy little hand-inspired teacups crawling everywhere. You got to have a good stomach to take this one smoothly, huh? That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.